Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to split a data frame variable into multiple columns in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears. And we can also have a look at this data frame object by clicking on the data object and then you will see that our data frame contains only one column which is called x and in this column we have stored three character strings that are all separated by a minus sign. So let's assume that we want to split this variable into two columns. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 6 and in line 6 of the code, I'm only using functions that are already provided by the basic installation of the R programming language. So as you can see in this example, we are using a combination of the data frame function, the do call function, the rbind function, the split function, the s character function, and we are also specifying fixed to be equal to true. So this code is relatively complicated, however, if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new data frame is returned. And this data frame is consisting of two columns, x1 and x2. And as you can see, the first column is consisting of the values before the minus sign of our original column. And the second column, x2, is consisting of the values after the minus sign in our original column. So this is basically how to split a data frame variable into multiple columns based on a separator and based on the basic installation of the R programming language. However, as you have seen, this code is relatively complex and for that reason I want to show you easier ways how to do that in the following two examples of this tutorial. So in example two I'm going to use the string R package and we can install and load the string R package by running lines 10 and 11 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 11 of the code. And now we are able to use the functions that are provided by the string R package. One of these functions is called split fixed, as you can see in line 13 of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify the data frame and the column that we want to split. Then we need to specify a separator and then we need to specify the value 2. And if you run this line of code, you will see that a matrix is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, this matrix is also consisting of two columns. And in the first column, we have the values before the minus sign. And in the second column, we have the values after the minus sign. Yeah, another package that provides an easy solution for the splitting of data frame variables is the tidyr package that I want to show you in example 3 of this video. Again, we need to install and load the package. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 18 of the code. And then afterwards we can apply the code that you can see in lines 20 and 21. And in line 20 we are specifying the name of our data frame. Then we are applying this pipe operator and then we are applying the separate function. And within the separate function we need to specify the column name, which is in our case the name x. Then we need to specify how we want to call the new columns that we want to create. And then we also need to specify the separator. So if you run these two lines of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console a new data frame is returned which is again consisting of two columns instead of only one column. So in this video I have shown you how to split data frame variables into multiple columns in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.